What's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. Your favorite trucker. I'm back reporting live from the grid out here in Burleson, Texas. Hope all is well because God is good all the time. And especially on this Thirsty Thursday edition, I'm talking about. Um, man, um, had an early start this morning. Got up about mm, 3.30. And um, like I said, I stayed at the place that I was delivering at um, for this morning. Stayed there last night. Um, got up about 3.30, did my morning routine, went inside about 4.25, 4.30, and um, got the paperwork off, and um, I still had about, at that time, about two hours, a little over two hours or so before my clock had reset, and um, so I had to drop the paperwork off, and um, I just kind of just patiently waited, you know, got, got my nap in, did a little, another pre-trip, and uh, just patiently waited till my clock reset. And as soon as it reset, I was gone. And um, headed off to Irving. Head off to Irving, dropped my empty, and I was getting ready to pick up my loaded, and there was a typo on my bill of lading. And I was circling around, circling around. I was like, man, I cannot find this trailer, man. So I asked the yard guy, I said, hey, man, I can't find this trailer. He said, did you check the seal? I said, no, I didn't check the seal. He said, yeah, just check it. Break the seal that's on the trailer. Open the trailer, check that seal, make sure it matches one, one on here. And if it does, it's a typo. You got to go back inside, get them to type you another one, and kind of go from there. I was like, all right, cool. So that's what I had to do. So I had to go do that. Found it because the trailer that I was looking for was, uh, it was three, three, six, three, six. 636 is the last three numbers and the only one I saw it in the yard was 836 and I was like mm, this has got to be it but I don't know so I went inside talked to the guy the dispatch guy told him the situation that I told talked to my DBL and went in there and told him what the situation was I'm like man look I'm not gonna make my first appointment my, my not my first point my next appointment because I was supposed to be there at nine and then there was a typo on the build lady had a type of another one and they sent me a fuel solution before I even get there so I'm not even gonna make it and this time it was a little after eight at this time I was like there's no way I'm gonna make it so he extended my time out and um he was like once you get done give me a call I might use you today I was like hey use me but don't abuse me you know what I'm talking about so I left there got some fuel and then came on here and been here for about uh 45 minutes or so about 45 minutes or so um, I know about 30 of it I was waiting to get someone to the window for me to give them my paperwork and probably was sitting for about 10 minutes or so before they started 10 to 15 minutes or so before they hey my nose is itchy before they uh, 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 started unloading me, and they've been rocking and rolling ever since. So, man, it's been it's a good day, man. Um, definitely a good day, man. Um, looking at it that way, um, a lot of gratitude. Um, very fortunate, you know what I'm saying, to get to do what I do. You know, just take your lumps. You know, continue to do your research. You know, as I said yesterday, man, can't get complacent. And anything that you choose to do, you cannot get complacent. Because complacency will get you hurt, you know, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Complacency will get you hurt, man. And there's no room for it, you know what I'm saying? No room for it. Even if, say, you're retired, you still can't get complacent, you know what I'm saying? You got to find hobbies or something to do to get better that day, you know what I'm saying? You can't get complacent no matter what you do, what it is, and where you go. Complacency is, has no room, you know, has, has, has no room, you know what I'm saying? I know it's easier said than done, but it can be done. For sure. Just hold yourself accountable, man. You know, small goals turn into big goals. And then once that happens, that momentum, let it just keep carrying you on. You know what I'm saying? Let it keep carrying you, man. But like I say, man, today's a good day, man. Sun's out a little bit. Gonna probably be humid a little bit, I'm sure. Um, but like I said, it should have me down here shortly. Then I move on to my next assignment if I have one. If not, you know what time it is, though. Go ahead and call it, call it a quits. Go on for this three-day weekend, maybe three and a half. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, go on and make it happen, Captain, and get on to the crib and uh, make it do what it do. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but yeah, man, yeah, man. Like I said, I'm claiming it's gonna be a good day for all of us, man. You know, appreciate your questions. Continue to reach out. Continue to ask, and we're gonna get through this thing together. You know what I'm talking about?
So I'll keep y'all updated, man, on what's next. And until then, you know what it is. Feel, feel in the blame, man. Keep that belief, baby. Keep that belief. You know what I'm talking about? Keep that belief. So until the next episode. Uh -huh. Later. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is, man. Your favorite truck on back, man. I'm heading to the crib, man. It's been a, uh, it's been an eventful day, um, especially after the last time we spoke. Um, the last time we spoke, um, called my DBO back, and he had me shuttling trailers, shuttling trailers from the plant to the uh, Irving location. And um, you know, I you know I'll pay you a little more type type conversation, and that's cool. You know, I'll do that. And it's about a 30, 30 mile round trip, fifteen miles there, fifteen miles back, a thirty minute round trip. You know, that adds up after a while. I was gonna be able to get two in, and um, because I had about, cause I needed time to get back to the OC, and I had to leave early because I had a barber. Uh, shop appointment at 5:45 in Tyler. Oh, let's just say that didn't happen. Because what time is it now? Uh, 6:07, and I'm just really getting going. So um, let's say um, after my my the second trailer I had fully loaded, took it to the facility. My DBL called me and it was like, "Hey Jesse, you wanna?" Uh, uh, he said, "I know you're off tomorrow." But uh, he was like, uh, you think you could possibly work Sunday? I was like, Sunday? I was like, uh, well, I can see maybe. I'm not, you know, I, you know, I'll have to see. I'm not really for sure. I have to, you know, make some adjustments, make some arrangements. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could do that maybe. But um, really we're just, you know, he was like, yeah, you know, there's some loads coming from. Um, Sang uh, Waco needed to go to Sanger, and I was like, you know, I was like Sunday. I was like, yeah, you know, maybe, you know, we can see, you know, type deal. Um, make some arrangements. He said, yeah, if you could, just find out for sure and just kind of let me know. I hate to give you those loads, and um, and you're not, you know, you're not able to work. And I was like, yeah, cause, you know, I can let you know something. He said, oh, I'm about to leave early, and I was like, oh, well, I'm here at the urban location, waiting on my turn to drop off the trailer. I can let you know something in 45 minutes or so. And I was like, cool, let me know. He said, cool, just do that. I said, all right. And I'm like, Sunday? I'm like, nah, B, nah, you cutting into my time. Then work six days next week, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's great. But it's just like, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, B. It'd been different to have my own truck, you know, but not company truck. We're working six days a week. Nah, B, cool. I don't care what you I want. Hey, it'd be different. I stayed in Dallas, but it's like when you have to drive an hour and some change to get there, it's like, you better pay me overtime. That's all I know. If I was in Dallas, be, eh, you know, maybe. But no, nah, not when I stay for, you know, I got a little drive. You know, it's not a, it's, it's an easy drive. It's a short drive, but still, I'm driving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm driving. I'm like, nah, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? In my head, and I was just like, I'll let you know something. So, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, make my way, get back so I can get back on time because my goal was to be on my way back to the OC by 3.30, by 3.30. Uh, probably went on my way until almost closer to 4, closer to 4, and I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do everything right because they ended up sending me a pre-assignment, and I was like, for tomorrow, and I was like, Oh, hell, oh no, hell no. Y'all boys have up and done it with this pre-assignment. That for damn sure ain't happening tomorrow. I'm gone, peace out. You know what I'm saying, kind of type deal. And um, I had to call and get that straightened out. I'm like, nah, I'm good on that, you know what I'm talking about? And then um, yeah, so nah, I'm good on that, let's get that fixed. Then I had that conversation with my DBL, and I was like, you know, and then I got stuck in traffic for an hour and some change on the way back, and I'm like, yeah, boys ain't gonna make it at all, like, at all, you know what I'm talking about? And then, um, um, I was like, boys ain't gonna make it at all, man, it is what it is. 
Uh, and then I'm going back to the OC, put my truck back in the shop because you know it's gonna be sitting there. I'm also put it in the shop, y'all check it out. You know what I'm saying? While I'm gone, and then finally on my way, man. Been a long day from 3:30 this morning until uh, whenever I get home, seven something, closer, closer to seven. And then we're going to dinner with my girlfriend and her dad and his lady friend to Texas Day Brazil. And it's like, man, and I got a sinus headache and it took me something. So I'm like, man, and then tomorrow I got to take my car to the shop. Well, not really to the shop. Um, I just got out. I got it, just got it out the shop. I was getting some work done on it. And uh, I had a little oil leak I had to, needed to fix. Fixed the oil leak, water pump, and something else I forgot. I was like, well, while the you know transmission is dropped and engines out, might as well do all that as I go ahead. Uh, want to get my sunroof looked at? You know, had a little bit of trouble with it. it's been stick sticking and stuff. So I'm going to drop that off tomorrow at eight in the morning. Then I'm supposed to go. I'm possibly going to book me a, a barbershop appointment at ten o'clock. Then push the time back on the rental. And go get the rental after that, or maybe before that. Not really for sure. Not how I see how I can do it, but we'll figure it out. Maybe I can pick it up before, then go get my barbershop appointment. Um, and then uh, we just gotta go from there. Uh, then from there, go to the house, get dressed, and then head to the head to our uh, my girl's B-day weekend festivities. So, man. Yeah, very eventful. Um, Y'all boys, keep your boys in your prayers, man, because we be traveling a lot up and down the highways and byways every day, you know what I'm saying? Every day I'm hustling. You know, every day I'm praying, you know what I'm saying? Pray with me. Um, and you know, um, hopefully you guys had a good day, man. Like I said, I, I love to kind of just chill for a minute, but I ain't had a chance, man. After that little nap this morning from, mm, from, what time that was? Like 5.15 to like 6 something. That little nap, I ain't chilled since then, bro. Like, I've been on the go since then. And that's, I guess, kind of how, that's really how I like it, man. There ain't no sitting, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no sitting and chilling. We're going we gonna to make this money, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, man. Like I said, hopefully you guys had a good day, man. Um, hopefully you guys, uh, Get your questions answered, you know, by me or someone else you may be following on, on YouTube about the trucking industry or whatever industry that you want to go in. I apologize for all the yawns, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. I told you, brother. Yeah, that, that, that uh, AC cooling my eyelids down. I really had the AC off and the sunroof open just trying to, you know, stay up because I know I got a, a long night ahead of me. You know what I'm talking about? But, you know, get to go home and I'm off tomorrow. That's what, that's what I'm looking at. I'm off tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, off Saturday. I'll go back almost off all oh, excuse me. Almost all day Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Get back there on Monday. You know what I'm saying? Two and a half, almost a three day weekend type deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're ready to get after it. So, um, you know, just continue to have that belief, man. That belief in yourself plus the mindset you can do it. It's a contagious behavior for success. Start small, stay consistent, and trust your gut instincts. And just remember, just, sort of, just remember, I'm just an imaginary little brother giving you advice, outlast the average, and take everything to the bloodstream. It's to the next episode. Uh -huh. Got to get back on this road. Got to get my eyes back on this road. You know what I'm talking about? I'm almost, you know, I got probably got about 45 minutes or so to go. And as soon as I get there, I'm going to have to shower, change clothes, and get ready to go to dinner, you know what I'm talking about, so, uh, hey, let's have a good one, you know what I'm talking about?